Now since we are using so much different data uh, to work off of, maybe one of the things I want to do is maybe keep running totals. Yes, I see Rachel has uh, her kind of bit, and I, I see Peter has uh, his kind of sales, and etc., cetera, etc., cetera. but what if I want to see sort of where each one is, how well they're doing individually? This is actually where we can go back over to the Data tab, and instead of the sort and filter like we were doing before, we can head all the way over to this Outline section. This Outline section allows us to have something called a subtotal. And, as you can see, it already allows me to kind of see what happens. And if we kind of read through this at each change in sales rep. So, when I see the transition from Rachel to Peter, what do I want to use? Well, I can use the count function to see how many magazines they've sold. And I'm going to get something like 12. Rachel has sold 12 magazines. Peter has sold 12 magazines. The problem is, that's not terribly great, you know? So what can we do instead? Well, instead of maybe magazine, we can come in and say, let's take a look at sales. Well, I'm still using the count function, and unfortunately, if I hit OK, I still see 12. So what can I do? I can continue on there. I can click on that drop-down menu, and that's going to give me a wonderful, beautiful uh, option. It lets me do some mathematical equations to work off of. For my sake, we'll just say sum. Now, all of a sudden, what I'm saying is, show me the total number of sales, or the total dollar amount in sales each sales rep has given me. I can hit OK. And you can see, all of a sudden, Rachel has given me 9,725, 9,370. And we can go through all of a sudden. Now, actually, this is a good point. You notice over here, you know, Garrett and Michael, I'm getting these pound signs. Well, what that means is the number's so big, so big, that I can't actually see it in my column right now. So how can I fix this? I can just come over here to this little half thing, and if I want to do it quick and easy, simple double-click. That's going to automatically set it up. So I can see, again, Garrett's our top sell, and then Michael's doing pretty nicely as well. This is actually one of the times where I might be able to kind of clean things up a little bit. You see that over here on the drop down or on the kind of left hand side, I've got these little minus signs. These allow me to kind of narrow it down. Maybe I don't want to look at everyone, I just want to see their totals. I can click on these, and as you can see, now all of a sudden I can view just their totals and even a grand total. If I click on this one, well, I only see the grand total. I don't want that necessarily. Now, fun little thing, you can see I also have levels. I can click on the levels, and they expand out as well.